Hi guys, well, sorry for the audio. I know my phone camera, which is handy because I can pause it, makes my voice sound really high pitch compared to my tablet, but phone's easier. Today I'm going to be showing you spares, tools, hoses and all that. But over here is a pile of spares for something I'm getting soon. You can obviously guess what it is. It's a Henry. I won't tell you what Henry, only some of you know, so don't spoil it, the ones that do know. Uh, ooh, a twin flow. Ooh. A cable reel. A filter. An old style head. Some tubes. A HEPA flow. Just normal spares, really. Um, so, let's start with all the rubbish. Uh, old spares stuff. Um, okay, well, this isn't the rubbish. This is just stuff that's not going to get used in a while. Well, I'm predicting it won't get used in a while, and I was right, a lot of this hasn't been used in a while. So we've got DCO5 head and thing, that sweeper thing I was supposed to sell. Um, you've never seen that, Henry piece there. A box of Hoover tools, Electrolux 550 hose, an Acrid AEG, Electrolux tools, DCO8 tools, DCO5 hose. Yeah, they, they, they've not been used in ages. Now, here are the hoses. These are all Henry ones. Uh, here's the 3 meter one. The only other non-Henry hose that I usually keep in there is Victor hose, but that's out just now. We've got paint splattered hoses, really clean hoses, really manky hoses. I think that's my work hose. So yeah, and then in here, I'll just pause and take this box off and show you what's underneath. Here's the box of stuff as well. I was going to say crap, but not all of it's crap. Well, some of it is. Uh, a vax head. Two Dyson cables. One needs a plug on e well, a plug on one end. This is a DC7 cable. Some Electrolux stuff. A Philips handheld. Wow, it's got charge in it. A Henry bucket that's a bit knackered, DCO5 bin insert, a wheel, that's a Vax head, a DCO7 hose, a DCO14 hose, that's a DCO1 hose actually, that's the DCO14 one there, uh, there's a Hoover scabbard down there I think, uh, I'll just get the box back on. Now we have this recycled Vax. Uh, 6131 tub that's got a big crack in it hence why it's being used for tubes here's some telescopic tubes here's a DCO7 wand I should really put that behind there I'll move the Victor cable in a minute I'll just move it now so it doesn't take wands away with it when I try and use the Victor there we are that's a bit better right that one there uh, DC14 wand again, I should put that in there. Vax, vintage Vax solution. And then there's some modern one there. To be honest, I could pop those in there. Uh, I'll just take them out of the box for the moment. Um, Henry tube, it is mainly Henry, 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 Henry tubes in here. In fact, it is all Henry tubes. Some Charles tubes that didn't go to Pneumatic World 29 because they're welded together. You can see I've had a hack at them. Had a hack at all three of them. Um, 90s tubes there. Tubes that have got stuff in them. This modified tube is for use with Dyson floor heads. It meant I could use the DCO5 floor head on a Henry. Let's pan over here now. Here are the upholstery nozzles in these two. Uh, so, one of these vintage, well it's old Henry brushes. One of the newer ones. Hoover the one nozzle. That's really worn. This one's for the Victor. Uh, it was used in the renovation I used the Victor in. It's not focusing. Never mind. Really isn't focusing. Still isn't focusing, which is really annoying me. It's going to focus now. No, it won't. What a rubbish camera, huh? 
one of these. Uh, Vax head from Tom Vacuum. Uh, ooh, ooh, manky. Uh, what is this head? Dyson one. Here are pneumatic brushes, apart from that one. And there's obviously an adapter in here as well, two adapters. The old ones, the little dinky ones. Oh, look, it's focused. Focused into the wear and tear. The Henry brush insert, you can see it swell and truly. It's spiky and everything, it even pokes through my nice jumper. Oh, this is, this is my exclusive Henry brush. You might think, what's the different? Apart from white strips, it's triangular a little bit. Because I, I had, um, took a backpack back to a friend's house and I dropped the brush and it was on the road and then we went back again a week later and they said, oh, I found this and I thought, are you? And I realised it was mine. Berry brush. Just a normal brush. Uh, here are all the other ones. Panasonic brush. Vintage Electrolux 2-in-1 tool. This one's off a of DCU 7. It does say Dyson, it won't focus, of course. This one's also off a of Dyson. You can kind of see it says Dyson. Right, let's fly through this a bit quicker. 6 minutes 30. Woo, a juicy long video. Dyson crevice tools. Again, won't focus at all because this is annoying. Berry. No, it's not from the Berry actually. That's a genuine pneumatic crevice tool, used in the renovation, it's the paint bag. Ooh, he's thudding now. A uh, whole pack of Victor bags, I still do use the Victor bagless a lot, because it's HEPA. Don't use a Henry bagless, they suffer a lot. But the Victors, I think it's designed to be used bagged or bagless. Henry, although sometimes they say you use them bagless, trust me, just don't, just don't. You'll upset Hoover Master if you use them bagless and he'll start nagging at you and he's in your comments section. We've got two Mila 7 bags, they're nice and genuine. Don't use non genuine bags in a Mila, they just wreck the poor thing. And some Nilfisk bags I found. Um, got them out there. Here are the filters and a Tomflow motor seal. Probably shouldn't be in there, but nowhere better for it. Two DCO1 filters, we used washable ones that are now fading. One whole filter pad, haven't used it yet. Some twin flow sound insulation, deadening, whatever you want to call it, I'm keeping that out of there. Again, I should use Vax filter. Hoover the One filter. Another Hoover the One filter, which is wrecked because it got washed. Uh, DCO7 filter, needs another good wash didn't come up very well and then this DCO4 filter that's stained by the way that will not come off but apart from that it's very clean pop that in there uh, right we've got two Hoover bags I don't know what ones they're off I uh, don't know I haven't got the right Hoover for them uh, a load of Electrolux power line bags uh, boss bags sorry that's why Although it's good to get a few bags in advance for your vacuum, don't go crazy. I think they got 30 bags, um, thinking the vacuum would last forever, but obviously they don't last forever. Gen generic Mila S7 bags, I got these with the S7. They don't seem too bagged, but I'm not going to use them anytime soon. Uh, probably if I service an S7, I'll just chuck one of them in. One single solitary Electrolux bag for them two and the white one. I don't have the white one at the moment. Friends borrowed it. Uh, had it for ages though. They went away on holiday. <laughs> um, five HEPA flows and I think there's three there. So that's eight. So that should do fine for another e age. Put some back in there. These are recycled. These are from my room. Keeping toys in until I realised that half of the stuff I just dumped in here was toys I was putting in the wrong place. I don't use toys much now. Uh, here's Hetty Head. It's a bit worn, hence why when my grandparents got the new vac, I didn't just put this one on, I put uh, the Charles one on, I think. Yeah, I think I did. Uh, I actually realised I forgot to put the Charles head in with Pneumatic Roll 29's box, but there you go. I think he said he's got an army of them. That's the thing, whatever I have, Pneumatic Roll 29 
um, has 70,000 of them. Yeah, not exaggerating. Oh, random Panasonic tubes for a Panasonic I'm fixing. Let's just poke them through there and never see them for another year. New vac head. The reason my grandparents don't have this head on it is because it's too stiff on carpets and it makes that loud annoying squeak, which would just get annoying for them. Well, this one's the Bertie floor head. Bit of rust, but nothing major. Major, major. This is the Nusi compact power head, which I'll keep that out because it's a decent head. The rest of it's boxed up over there. Uh, yeah, I showed you that. Yeah, these lug pickers are like scrap basically. But uh, I looked into getting new lump pickers and I thought, yeah, find some more on eBay. Turns out you can, they're like eight pounds or something for two of them. Like two, two lint pickers, not two sets, two lint pickers. And I thought, well, you can actually buy a brand new pneumatic genuine head for six pounds or get a used one for three. So, yeah, Vax 121 head, pretty much a generic style head. I don't use that one just because it's new, it's pretty stiff. 91 Henry head, as you can see, it's past it basically. Lint stripper is good though. It works well on carpet. The Lewis head again, this one's a bit battered. I don't really care about the Lewis attachments as much because I do like this head and I use it. But to be honest, I'm not like overly crazy about my Lewis, even though it's starting to look a bit... There it is. Yeah, it does look a little bit used, but then again it was used and to be honest, it was such a lovely vacuum that I couldn't resist using it. Oh yeah, there's some more heads over here, that's another old head. Another one, I've actually got quite a few, I didn't realise I had so many. Oh, speaking fast now! And then... That... Uh, I'm kinda sick of filming now. Um, was off a tool set my dad found me at a job he was doing. Um, yeah. Oh. oh dear. That's me tired now. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, uh, we'll probably upload this later than it was filmed. Maybe not. Um, maybe you'll be seeing brand new fresh content. And a slight hint, I might be getting a job lot of 15 vacuums if the person replies. I know where have I got the room for 15 vacuums? Well, I can assure you I'll be selling slash skipping half of them. Um, and I will be getting, of course, another pneumatic. Ooh, what is it? What is it? I just need to get the PayPal thing sorted out with another collector. I won't say who, because then you'll know what it is. And then it'll start making its way to me. Uh, if you're watching this video, you know who you are. Hello. Thanks for the offer. Um, and again, a special shout out to Pneumatic Rule 29 for this base when I got my Hooverette from him. Um, it was really nice for the NRV. Thanks a lot. Um, and yeah. 13 minutes. This has to be hitting one of my longest videos. Thanks for watching. See you soon.